So this season for white bass, I ended up um, using this uh, old fly reel that I had to put my uh, my uh, sink tip fly line on. Works well, that way I can just swap out the reel from my fly rod and not worry about um, trying to swap out the fly line and the actual reel. So this fly reel here is pretty much uh, no name. This is one of the first fly reels I bought in a combo kit um, when I first started fly fishing. Looks like it was made by Wild Water, right, an A-series. Um, but I've seen a lot of fly reels with this type of drag mechanism where you've got a, a dial here off-center from the spool uh, to increase and decrease the drag. Um, so we'll take a look at it. So I think probably a lot of fly reels are the same type or, or the way the drag sits up is probably similar. But as you can see, if I put this dial all the way to max drag, still fly line still comes out pretty freely. So the first thing I'll do is pop off the spool. So you do that by pushing this clip in and then taking off the spool. And I'll wrap up this fly line. So you can, as you can see here, is the drag mechanism, the dial here. And on the back, it's got this metal plate. And I believe this metal plate just pushes against the back side of the, your spool here to create friction and give you that drag. And it looks like the clicker is working fine, the clicker mechanism working fine. But I think we need to take apart this drag mechanism. And it looks like we've got a little nub here that probably is a big a screw that's kind of holding this whole thing together for the drag mechanism. So let's pop that off. Let's see what I got to pop that off with. Oh, that worked. So I got that little nub off. And as you can see in there, there is a little Phillips head screw in there. So let's try to take that off. Okay, so that screw came out of there. And I think you can let's see if I can pop this off now. Yep, this thing pops off. And we got a little nut here. Let's take the nut off. And I've kind of been holding this metal piece with my finger back here. So, but I think pretty soon, yep, it should be able to come out now. Okay, so there is a washer in there too. That was in here, this little metal washer. And that's interesting. Look at this washer. It's a little bent down in the center. Looks like it was made that way, or actually that may be part of the problem. Because that, I think, would provide some of the, um, this nut... This nut that goes on top of this washer is probably what gives you your elevation of this metal piece here. And that's probably what pushes it against the uh, fly spool, real spool. So actually, let's see what's under here just to take a look. And it looks like a, some type of fibrous paper washer. So I'm not going to mess with that. So I'm going to put this back in. Okay, now I'm going to see if, I'm going to try to, since this is kind of convex, I'm going to try to take the convex side of this metal washer and flip it the other way so it's kind of pointing up now to the outside of the uh, reel. And re-screw in this nut, okay. put this knob, plastic knob back on. Okay. Pop that plastic knob back in there and little tiny Phillips screw back into the top of this. Okay, the spool's back in there. So let's just compare all the way loose drag. Okay, really free, makes sense. So now let's make it all the way tight drag. Ah, here we go. Much more tension now, less free. So I think it was that little metal washer in there. I, I flipped that metal washer that was sitting in here. I flipped it from, it was kind of concave down into the spool. I flipped it over so it's more convex because I think over the years it must have gotten bent. So I flipped that, that little metal washer around and it 
now the drag is much better at full pen, at full drag. I would imagine fly reels of this type where the drag is set offset from the center is probably the same, probably the same type of issue that would happen over the years. Last thing I need to do is just put that little plastic nub back on here. Just pop it right back on there. That snaps in. That's it. Hope that helps you out if you're looking to try to fix the drag on your old fly reel. Till next time, enjoy your time outdoors.